welcome to gcd technologies soft uh, under this software testing fundamental series today software testing important terminologies uh, this knowledge this awareness is uh, required for both freshers as well as experienced in people in software testing okay software testing important terminology first one SDLC, soft not design, software development, software development life cycle. Actually, software development life cycle is important for software developers. But uh, our software testing is an integral part of SDLC. So we need to familiar with the that is SDLC. See, ISO, International, Ar uh, International Organization for Standardization, uh, ISO, next IEC, uh, International Electrotechnical Corporation, uh, Europe based organization, 12207 standard. See, ISO, IEC, 12207. Uh, 12,207 is an international standard for software life cycle process. It defines all the tasks required for developing and maintaining software. Software development life cycle. What is software development life cycle? Is an important term for both software developers and software testers. It is a systematic approach for developing software. It is a process followed by software developers, software testers, etc. See, important phases of this SDLC are uh, requirements gathering, analysis, design, software design coding or implementation next testing next last one deployment and maintenance uh, some uh, some people say uh, release and maintenance say this is general uh, software development life cycle model here we have some models are there uh, waterfall model traditional waterfall model v model spiral model next uh, latest not latest uh, it is also old, but trending model, agile model, uh, incremental model. Okay. Uh, next, tester level. Tester level. See, what is tester level? A specific instantiation of a test process. A specific instantiation of a test process. See, software testing can be performed at different levels of the software development process. Performing testing activi activities at multiple levels help in early identification of bugs and better quality of software product. See, there are mainly four levels of testing uh, for uh, uh, software testing. Four levels for software testing. One is unit testing. Next, integration testing. Next, system testing. Last one, the acceptance testing. Testers may vary from one level to another, but testing is common. Testing is same. Okay? Process is uh, not process. Purpose is same. Suppose developers may conduct uh, testing at uh, unit test level. Independent tester, like you people, may conduct uh, testing on integrated system, system test level. Next, end users or customer side people may conduct the acceptance testing, but purpose same. See, one more term is there, user acceptance testing. Uh, actually, user acceptance testing is a subset of the acceptance testing. Other subsets also there operational acceptance testing hardware engineers do 
that operational acceptance testing next certification testing etc see user acceptance testing is a subset of acceptance testing next test levels okay test type a test type is a group of test activities aimed at testing specific characters of a software system or a part of a system your system means aut application under test next test type okay uh, is a group of test activities see we have four types of testing uh, functional testing non functional testing structural testing and change related testing see according to international syllabus four uh, four types functional testing non functional testing structural testing and change related testing change related uh, change related testing means uh, uh, re and regression testing uh, in these four uh, for our independent testers functional testing non functional testing and change related testing important structural testing developers conduct structural testing at a unit test level okay say uh, under uh, in in non functional testing we have several sub types performance testing next security testing usability testing uh, recovery testing availability testing reliability testing internationalization testing localization testing etc okay and one more thing in this test type functional testing is having a uh, functional versus non functional functional testing is having nearly 70% market share Perf uh, non functional testing including performance security non functional test types having 30% below 30% market share see functional testing is mandatory for every application okay next test design technique test design technique see a test design technique is used to select a good set of tests from all possible tests for a given system first of all why test design techniques why techniques technique means an easy way to achieve something why techniques see exhaustive testing observe this term one more term exhaustive testing is impractical so we follow test design techniques for selecting test cases set of test cases from all possible test cases uh why test design techniques okay uh, exhaustive testing is impractical so we follow test design techniques what is exhaustive testing testing all testing with all possible inputs and preconditions that is impractical so if you suppose if you want to test one input field user name suppose it takes 5 to uh, 10 characters uh, alpha numeric and special characters if you want to test with all possible inputs and preconditions uh, thousands of inputs lakhs of inputs see it takes more time efforts it is impractical so exhaustive testing is impractical what is exhaustive testing testing with all possible inputs and preconditions it is impractical so we select a good set of tests from all possible tests uh, using test design techniques say we have static and dynamic test design techniques uh, in software testing uh, in dynamic test design techniques dynamic testing means uh, testing by executing the software uh, static testing means testing software documentation uh, by checking the documentation also you can find gaps or uh, uh, issues 
that is static testing testing uh, software documentation without executing the software that is static testing next testing uh, software by executing the software that is dynamic testing okay fo we focus on dynamic testing see in dynamic testing uh, we have three categories of techniques so white box black box and experience based techniques uh, experience based techniques for informal testing uh, for formal testing white box and black box testing see developers use white box test design techniques uh, testers independent testers use black box test design techniques see in black box test design techniques we have four or five important techniques uh, equivalent equivalence partitioning or you can say equivalent classes boundary value analysis third one decision table testing fourth one state transition testing uh, next uh, use case testing are important for dynamic testing next stlc software test life cycle uh, it is a core concept of software testing uh, what is stlc software test life cycle is a sequence of different activities performed during the software testing process see software test life cycle contains various phases which are requirements analysis test planning test case development test environment setup test execution and test closure test cycle closure next uh, this is stlc for formal testing next informal testing see informal testing suppose uh, if we have documentation proper documentation time budget etc then we we can uh, go for formal testing suppose lack of documentation lack of time budget resources etc that time uh, we may follow informal testing but uh, that depends on application complexity suppose if it is application if application is a lightweight application then we can go for informal testing what is informal testing ad hoc testing performed without a documented set of objectives or plans informal testing relies on the situation and skills of the individual performing the testing the experienced engineers can be uh, productive in this mode by mentally performing test cases for the scenarios being exercised say uh, using exploratory testing error guessing like techniques experienced testers may conduct informal testing okay next test planning test planning test planning is a phase in stlc software testing life cycle the main object of this phase is to prepare a test plan document roadmap for software testing process it includes three major aspects scope of deliverables effort estimation and the resource plan next test document an artifact of testing see test documentation is documenting of artifacts created before testing during testing and after the testing of software see uh, be familiar with the important test documents see important software test documents are test policy it is company level document next test strategy next rtm requirement traceability matrix test plan test case defect report test matrix report and test summary report 
uh, are the important test document. Next, test execution levels. See, uh, test execution is one of the phase of our STLC, software uh, test life cycle. One of the phase. Uh, in this phase, we have some levels of execution. Smoke testing, sanity testing, comprehensive testing. Comprehensive testing means after accepting the after accepting the software build, we conduct the comprehensive testing. Comprehensive testing means executing all possible test cases. Next, uh, uh, defect reporting and tracking. Next, uh, after getting modified build regression testing cycle one. Next, defect reporting and tracking. Next, get uh, modified build two, like three, four. That depends on development team. Uh, what's that one? Complexity of the application and the strength of development team. At the end, uh, we may conduct a final regression. Okay. Test execution levels. Sanity testing, comprehensive testing, regression testing, final regression. General regression, final regression. Next, test deliverables. Say, test deliverables refer to a list of documents, tools, and other equipment that must be created, provided, and maintained to support testing activities in a project. See, what documents we create and use during testing, what tools we use during testing, all are test deliverables. Test plan is test deliverable. Test cases are test deliverables. Test tools are test deliverables. Test scripts are test deliverables. Defect reports are test deliverables. Test summary report is test deliverable. Okay, etc. Next. Test closure, test cycle closure. Say uh, it is last phase in, ending, end phase in software test life cycle. Test closure is a set of activities that are performed at the end of the testing process. These are usually performed after the product is delivered, like generating a test report, etc. Next, last one, test maintenance. Maintenance testing. Main, uh, just a minute. Uh, maintenance testing. It is continuous practice. Maintenance testing. Once a system, here system means AUT, application under test. Once a system is developed, uh, deployed, deployed means installed. Once a system is deployed, it is in service for years and decades. During this time, the system and its operational environment is often corrected, changed, or enhanced. Testing that is provided during this phase is called maintenance testing. Thank you.